Hello, ghouls and ghosties, and happy Friday. If you missed it, I just wanted to remind you real quick before we jump into this, I did have a bonus video go up this week. I know it was super short, and I don't think there was very much like commentary or talking in it, but Ryan and I, my fiance, went to a pumpkin patch and corn maze and like fall festival situation. And I just took some footage kind of as like a little vlog, just to like throw up a little bonus video for you guys. So I hope you like that if you saw it and if you missed it and want to see it, it's the last video that went up. Up. Otherwise, what we are here for today, as you saw by the title and the thumbnail, is a little discussion or sort of review on if more expensive Halloween decor slash Halloween like home furniture decor is worth it. So I am not going to tell you in this little intro exactly what pieces I'm specifically talking about today, but I will tell you that I have one piece from Grandin Road. If you don't know Grandin Road, they're kind of like an online catalog pottery barn where it is quite pricey but I don't think they have any stores they might have like an outlet in Ohio or something like that and then I have two pieces from Pottery Barn's Halloween collection this year one you guys know about kind of if you've seen my past videos the other one you don't know about yet and it's more pricey than the first item <laughs> then I will mention the two 12 footers that I have because they obviously are a bit more expensive than normal outdoor decor. One is from Lowe's and one is from Home Depot. So we're kind of talking like expensive Home Depot, expensive Lowe's, Grandin Road, and Pottery Barn today. So Pottery Barn, if you don't know, Pottery Barn is a very expensive like home decor store or furniture store. I did get a couple bowls and like tabletop pieces from Crate and Barrow this year. I'm I'm not going to talk about those today because first off they weren't actually that expensive. I got a couple like bat whiskey glasses that were like ten dollars a piece and then I got a couple like cauldron bowls that were only like eight bucks a piece which kind of surprised me because that's pretty similar to home goods pricing but today we're here to talk about the other pieces. So from Grandin Road I did get a bigger outdoor furniture piece. From Pottery Barn we have one of the iconic throw pillows and we have a indoor furniture piece and then the two 12 footers. So for this video we're gonna kind of go like on site on scene to talk about the items. I'm gonna go buy them and set up my camera and talk about them so you guys can see them in real time, see what they look like next to me for sizing. I can maybe talk about weight, knock on them to give you some like durability and we're just gonna talk about like if they're worth it. I probably will talk about how much I paid for them. I did not pay full price on any of them. I would never do that because they're very expensive. So I think we're gonna start off with the Grandin Road piece, which is outside. Then we're gonna move on to the Pottery Barn pieces, which is inside. Then we will talk the 12 footers, just because I know I've talked about them before. So if any of you are like, okay, I don't need to hear that again. Understandable. Let's go outside and take a peek at my Grandin Road spooky piece of outdoor furniture. to film this over by where you just saw that b-roll of this item but unfortunately the sunlight was just not working for me so we have to deal with seeing the side of the house in the background of this video but obviously that is not the focus of what we are here to talk about anyways we are here to talk about this bad boy which is my grandin road piece so this is the grandin road beware crow and skull bird bath like i said grandin road is an online furniture 
signature store and they do every single holiday. So every year I know they come out with some new stuff and some repeat items. And based off of reviews that I read, this is actually a repeat item that they at least had last year and maybe have had in past years before. It could look familiar to some, but it probably doesn't to many of you. Though I hadn't shopped at Grandin Road ever before, I had subscribed to their catalog earlier in the season just because I know that each year they come out with a Halloween catalog and I just wanted to see that and look through it. They have all these setups of all these fun like graveyard front yards with all their decor. They have like a garden section of spooky stuff. They have indoor stuff. So actually when I received the catalog I had not really noticed this item. Now that I think back I'm not even sure if it was in there but obviously I would assume it was. But when subscribing to the catalog, it also subscribed me to getting their emails, which can be a dangerous game. I was getting emails from them and every once in a while they would say like, oh, it's a special like 20% off, blah, blah, blah. And with the prices that Grandin Road has, 20% was not really selling me on going onto the website and browsing because this stuff is pricey. It is very similar to Pottery Barn. I would say they're pretty aligned. I don't even know which one would be considered more expensive, but in my opinion, they're very, very close, which is pricey. They're both pricey. So one day, about a couple weeks back at this point, maybe it was like two or three weeks back, I got an email from Grand and Rogue that said that they were doing 30% off of all Halloween items along with free shipping. So the Grand and Road shipping is like $30 itself. 30% off seemed like a decent chunk, at least enough for me to kind of like browse the website, see if there was anything that caught my attention, or just, you know, look around, just peek, see what things would be priced after being 30% off. And I found two items that really stuck out to me. And of course, they were nice, they were bougie, they were like fancy outdoor pieces. So the first one that I noticed was this Medusa head fountain. That was really, really cool. And it said like, turn back. It was made of this same exact material, I believe, it at least looked like it, but it was just like a fountain. Like she was there with her like snakes and then she had like her mouth open and it would like, water would come out into this pot. That was originally priced very high, like 350 or something like that. So I know math, but I still just put it in my cart just to see what it would end up being. And I was just like, yeah, that's pretty expensive. And like, I'm not like a huge Medusa person. So I was not planning on getting that. So then I kept browsing and I spotted this piece. This also really caught my attention. And so I went into the listing from the front page. I don't know if you could see the skull, but I went into the listing and I was like, oh my gosh, that's really, really cool. It's made of that cool stone looking material. It has a crow, which I'm a huge crow slash raven person. And it has a skull and I love me a skull decoration. So on the site, this had originally been priced at $259, which is quite pricey, obviously, especially for a bird bath. I mean, bird baths, especially if you get a nice one, can be decently pricey, even if you go to say like Menards, Home Depot, something like that. But 260 is still kind of pushing it. I thought that was quite high, but like I said, there was 30% off. So I put it in my cart and it was going to be $181, which is still quite pricey for a bird bath. So I definitely was hemming and hawing over it. So I decided to go to the reviews, which actually it has at least 65 star reviews and then maybe like five to 10 four star reviews. So the average is five and it has wonderful reviews. Again, like I said, they're from last year and from this year because this is an item they've brought back. And all of the reviews that I read were ranting and raving about how amazing it was, how high quality it is, how many compliments people got on it. It's heavy enough to withstand wind, but light enough to be carried, because obviously I brought it from where you just saw the B-roll so I could carry it myself. And I absolutely agree with the reviews that I read. I was sold on it after reading the reviews. I kind of checked with Ryan, like, do you think this is a good idea? And he agreed, especially like I said in the beginning, we are getting a house next year. And it'd be so cool to have some staple quality, really nice home pieces to start the house off with. And so that is what this is going to be for me. Also, if it looks tilted, that's because I have it on like the lid of a plastic container right now. I just want you to be able to see as much as possible. <laughs> but this item is extremely high quality. The assembly was 
simple. There are three pieces, one being the beware part, one being the bowl, and then one being the skull with the crow. And you just plop them in and twist them to lock them in place. It's that easy. The Grandin Road shipping was really, really fast, and they really, really protected this thing in the shipping process, which I do appreciate. So it took just a couple days to get here, and I put it together right away and got it outside right away. We have it in the backyard currently, so we haven't had like compliments from people because it's hidden in the backyard. But my mom and dad both have said how much they really, really love it. It's so cool. It looks aged to a point that just looks really like aesthetically pleasing for us like spooky and kind of like vintagey scary <laughs> decor appreciators there's like this fake moss coloring throughout and then the rest looks like stone it is really made of this like thick i assume it's like a plastic but it's extremely heavy i saw online it's like 18 pounds total so again like wind is not gonna knock it over but it also can be moved can be lifted can be whatever besides weight as for size, it is like the perfect size too. I believe I saw that it is 34 inches tall. And like I said, 18 pounds. So it is like the perfect birdbath size. It can be used as a birdbath, but I think I'm mainly gonna use it as like a decor piece. I just really love it. I am totally, totally confident with this purchase. It is 186, even after the discount, quite pricey for a birdbath. Absolutely. And would I just like continue to buy like Grand and Road pieces every single year? Definitely not. I was just browsing, like I said, and I have been kind of in the mindset of maybe getting some nice nice pieces for our house. So for that reason, that is why I purchased this. I still really like the fountain, the Medusa fountain, but I would probably never for any reason spend that much money on a fountain. I'm very happy with this piece. Do I see buying a Grandin Road piece in the future for me? I mean, possibly, but am I gonna go out of my way every year to, I gotta go shopping on Grandin Road. No. They have very high quality pieces, but I mean, for that price, that's what I would expect. It's always funny when people buy very, very like expensive things and they're like, the quality's there and blah, blah, blah. Like, I would hope the quality's there for the price that this is. If this had been some kind of cheap, really light, like blow over in the wind piece of furniture, I would have returned it. I wouldn't accept that. Like that's unacceptable for how expensive something from Grand and Road is. They do come through on quality. I would expect that. When I look for pieces of decor and furniture, I'm looking for things that I can hopefully use all year. Let's move on to my two Pottery Barn pieces that I acquired this year. All right, ghouls and all right, ghosties. On to the Pottery Barn items. And like I said, I have two items from Pottery Barn that I purchased this year. The first one I purchased quite a while back, maybe like two months ago. And you guys have seen it if you've been keeping up with all of my Halloween videos and haul Halloweens. But if you have not been, I'm going to reshow you. And then I do have a more expensive item that I'm gonna show you second. So starting off, let's get into the pumpkin throw pillow. Oh, and those aren't the only clips I have for you. This throw pillow actually gets better because his face lights up. So here he is with me. This is the jack-o'-lantern throw pillow from a Pottery Barn. And a lot of you might already know my feelings on him, but for those that don't, I'm going to share them once again. This is him for size comparison. I have a decently tall head, so <laughs> he's very big. And I have seen, I'm sure many of you have as well, the Home Goods two versions of knockoff Pottery Barn throw jack-o'-lantern pillows. And I will say I've seen them 
both in person at this point and they are in no way even comparable. He is so much better in so many different ways. And once again, kind of like I said with the Grandin Road item, obviously for the money, it only makes sense that the more expensive one would be better. And if it wasn't the case, we would have a problem. But he does live up to being better for the higher price tag. He is much, much heavier than both of them. And I think I saw one other video where someone got one and they said the exact same thing where when you get him, he is shockingly heavy. He is packed full with whatever kind of foam or stuffing they put into him. He is like hardly squishable and if he is he like bounces right back into shape they really stuffed him full the rope detail that they put onto him is very very nice durable rope that is definitely a difference from the home goods versions the rope or string on them is exactly that it is just like string the same rope is used for the top up here it's like glued around maybe like a foam tube or something and then there's kind of this like netted rope end to it. As for the shearling and fabric they used, it is so, so soft. Once again, so much nicer than the two home goods versions. It is seriously like a Sherpa lining to a super expensive coat. The size, like I said, he is quite large. He can take up a whole square of like a couch or a love seat. The plug-in, which I showed in the B-roll, is right here hidden in the back and there's a Velcro pocket that keeps it in. I love the lights. They went with like a string light situation as you guys just saw where like you can see all the separate little lights in him. And at first I kind of questioned that and I was like, why didn't they just make it so, I don't know, the outline lit up or like the whole thing lit up. But honestly, it has really grown on me and I really, really like that it's like string lights. It just makes it look a little more bougie. It adds that twist of kind of being a little more like artsy or home decor-esque versus being a child's like light up. Up. What were those toys where they like shine lights onto the ceiling as seen on TV toy? <laughs> it definitely does not give that vibe. I think his face is beautiful. Compared to the other two, his face is just perfect. I love his sharp teeth. I love his eyes and his sharp nose. It's just that classic jack-o'-lantern look while again, keeping it artsy and elevated. So the price tag on him is retail 98 or $89. But as I told you guys in my Halloween where I revealed him, I am thrifty and I don't pay full price for anything. So I got 10 percent off because if you make a registry and you add things to it, it gives you 10 percent off. And also I purchased a gift card from one of those like discount gift card websites where people sell ones they're not going to use. And I got like an extra 10 percent off. So I got a decent discount on him. For me, he ended up being maybe like 65 to 70, which is obviously still a lot for a decorative throw pillow, but I think that he was totally worth it. He exceeded my expectations in person for sure. The price tag is quite high for a throw pillow. So if you don't got that kind of money to work with, I totally, totally understand. And definitely just go for the home goods knockoffs. They kind of give that same feel and that same idea. But if you want to splurge, I would say that the Pottery Barn Pumpkin is worth it. I also think they have a version that doesn't light up that might be $10 cheaper. Had to go big or go home. So <laughs> on to the next item from Pottery Barn, and that would be the Skeleton Hand Metal and Glass Bar Cart.
Okay guys, so I had been eyeing this freaking bar cart ever since I think it hit the Pottery Barn website. I have it next to me. This is the best angle I can get of me with it. Also, if you're like, Jack, why'd you do the Pottery Barn stuff outside? I thought you were gonna do it inside. I was gonna do it inside, but the lighting right now, even out here, is like super dark and inside it's very dark. Anyways, this bar cart, I have been eyeing it since it hit the website, but the price tag on this baby is freaking steep. The price tag retail on this bar cart, full price, I believe is $550 to $590. And like $90. It's close to $600, which is freaking insane. That is so expensive and kind of like bird baths from Grandin Road. Bar carts are quite expensive. Don't get me wrong, getting a bar cart from anywhere, even like Urban Outfitters, 300 bucks. 250 300 dollars like a bar cart especially a decent one is quite expensive so understandable to a point but 600 dollars is quite crazy was i gonna pay that no i was just like i'm not getting this bar cart that's fine whatever <laughs> i really want it but maybe home goods will knock it off next year for like 250 300 dollars after a little while pottery barn knocked the price of the bar cart down to 429 dollars so that's probably some like very rounded percent like 25 or 30 percent off still was not gonna buy it i was like 430 dollars that is not leaving my checking account for a bar cart <laughs> love it it's probably worth that it's probably very high quality, but not for me, not today, not right now, not this year. So I'd kind of accepted defeat. I had accepted the reality of I am not gonna get this bar cart and hopefully Home Goods knocks it off because if you didn't know, Pottery Barn started the whole like metal skeleton hand, whiskey glass, skeleton hand, wine glass, all those metal around glass skeleton situations. And this is from their same collection at Pottery Barn. And I was like, Home Goods has knocked those off. So who's to say they won't knock these off? Like I said, for $250, $300 next year. So I thought I'd wait and just see if that happened. Probably wouldn't, but we'll see. Then I got an email. I was actually like on the way to this whole event thing I was supposed to go to. And I got an email as I was like just leaving to go there and it created a crisis. I got an email from Pottery Barn. They're like, that thing you've been eyeing is on sale. And I was like, oh, what? It's still like 430 or what? It dropped to like 375. No, thanks. No, no, no. The bar cart was half off now. The bar cart was $275 for a limited time only. And I was like, oh no. Am I gonna buy this bar card? What do I do? Because like I said, a good bar card anywhere is like $200, $300. It's expensive to get a nice bar card. Ryan and I like wine. Ryan and I like cocktails. A bar card would go lovely in our new house. And why not have a spooky one? Texted Ryan. I'm like, do you think I should do it? Ryan said yes, which I mean, easier said than done for him because it's my checking account getting hit. He said yes. And I was like, you know what? For this price especially, and especially if it's limited time, either it's gonna sell out or it's gonna go back up in price and I'm gonna kick myself for not getting it. I bought the bar cart. And here it is. Like I said, the quality on this thing is insane. Way, way higher quality than like any of the little like glasses and all the metal they use on that. This is like thick industrial metal. There's little tiny fingers, which you guys saw in the B-roll on the skeleton hands and I was nervous that those would feel very thin and very fragile like if you set a glass down or like a wine bottle it would just snap them but that is absolutely not gonna happen I'm like pulling I'm literally like pulling this pinky finger up very hard right now and not even budging this is extremely extremely high quality metal i love that there are two layers to it so on the bottom you can put your wine bottle or vodka bottle tequila bottle whatever and on the top you can have a glass you can have your stir sticks but you can put your supplies at the bottom and your other stuff on top it was very easy assembly it's just a bunch of screws that put the two layers onto the hands it's also on wheels that roll very very easily and smoothly those are also very high quality and they are locked so you won't just have your wine rolling over and off like down the steps or something like that. I guess my only just very slight tiny concern complaint, which I knew going into it anyways, is that obviously with the skeleton hands up there, it takes off some of the room that's on top up here. But to me, that's not a big deal. Also, if you didn't 
want to use it as a bar cart. It could make a very expensive like nightstand or side table. You could put a lamp on it. You could put like an alarm clock on it. Again, I have no fear of any, especially of the metal pieces breaking at all. This one, as with all this stuff, it's hard for me not to give five stars to my spooky stuff because going into it, especially when it's expensive, and that's how I am with everything, I put a lot of thought into it. Since this was so high priced, I mean, I had been thinking about it since Pottery Barn released it. I've been thinking about what I would do with it, if it's worth certain amounts of money, if there were certain prices I would pay, and like I said, I had been thinking if Home Goods had one for 250 to 300 next year or something, I would probably consider getting it. And I can guarantee, stamp of like guarantee from me, that a home goods one would be nowhere near this quality. Like the fingers would probably break or something. I've seen some of the other home goods pottery barn knockoff items, including there is a skeleton who's like laying back in a bowl, like he's like bathing. One store had four of them and all of them had broken limbs and the hips were broken off. So I'm very happy that I didn't have to wait for a home goods one and take that risk that they would be much, much worse quality than this. I think, again, based off my like little bit of research on bar carts and decent bar carts with maybe two layers or whatever, I believe a bar cart that's decent goes for, like I said, $200 to $300. So I do not think that this was crazy of a price for this item. Would I have spent $600? Probably never, ever. Like that's a ton of money. I am not like a retail Pottery Barn customer and I'm also just not a Pottery Barn customer, period. That's, I just, mostly for furniture, I am not here to spend that much money. But for a spooky item that once again, like the bird bath, I'm gonna use all year round like this is never gonna be put away or stored that is not that crazy to me i would give this whatever 10 out of 10 5 out of 5 for the price i paid for 600 we're talking a whole different situation but for the price i paid i would give this 5 out of 5 and i do not regret buying this it is so cool looking like look at look at this one that's what it looked like they're holding this up it just looks so freaking cool and i just cannot wait to put this thing in my house next year. I am so excited that it dropped in price. Oh, and that it dropped in price so dramatically and drastically. So I am gonna link this below if any of you have any interest in it. I believe I saw that it dropped to this price again recently, so it might still be 275 and it probably won't stay that way forever, and we're getting very close to a point where it would probably sell out. The Grandin Road Bird Bath is completely sold out, and it sold out very quickly after I purchased it. So if you're interested, 275 I don't think it's crazy for a decent bar cart if you would get enough use out of it. I will link it below. I'll link the pumpkin below. I'll put a link to the Bird Bath as well, just so you can go look at it if you want. Yeah, this is the height towards me. I'm very tall. I'm 6'4". I'm sitting and it is on the ground. So it's still like a decent height. I'd say this is very similar height to the bird bath, maybe a little shorter. This might be like 30 inches, 32 inches. I didn't really look. Super high quality. It is what I would expect from Pottery Barn. Still applies that if you're spending that much, I mean, it freaking should be high quality, but it does not disappoint in my opinion. So let's move on to the 12 footers.
And last, but certainly not least, is of course, Mama Mama Mummy and Big Ol' Skelly. I've done full reviews on them in different videos, which I will link below. So if you're wondering about like ease of assembly, my full thoughts, kind of a comparison, how to put them together, I do have two separate videos on them separately and then on one on them together. So if you're interested in that, I do have those linked below. But he is from Lowe's and he is from Home Depot. Mummy lights up and he also moves. And as for Skelly, his eyes light up, but I do have a projector right here that shines up on him to give him this like orange glow. Mummy was $350, I believe, and Skelly was $300. Skelly I got last year and Mummy I got this year. I would totally do it again. I have no regrets. So if you're wondering if you should bite the bullet and buy one of the 12 footers, Skelly, or mummy, I vote yes. Okay, so I hope that you guys enjoyed those little reviews and on scene kind of talking and discussing the pieces. If you didn't know, I am actually planning on getting my first house next spring and I will have a quite a spooky gothic theme to my everyday furniture and everyday like home decor. So that is really why I kind of I took the plunge and decided to pay up for two spooky pieces this year. The mummy, I would have bought either way. Skelly, I already had. The pillow, I would have got either way. But I think that the bird bath from Grandin Road is gonna look beautiful in front of my first house. And then I think that the bar cart, cause my goal is to have a house with a bar. That would be so fantastic to have like a wine bar or cocktail bar or something. I think it'd be so amazing to have that bar cart in there. And either way, even if there's not a bar built into the house, we can have it downstairs with kind of like a little setup or something. So I had been eyeing that for like the whole season. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a bit different, but I'm sure there are some people out there who are like, are Grandin Road items worth the price, our Pottery Barn items worth the price, and hopefully this helped somebody and you guys enjoyed seeing these pieces in action. I also hadn't seen any reviews or in-person images or videos of the bar cart before, so hopefully this will help if you've been eyeing it. I will see you guys mm, sometime next week on Friday at the latest. So let me know which piece in this video was your favorite, and I will see you guys sometime soon. Goodbye.